Okay, so in this part, part five, um, John's going to demonstrate for us uh, multiple images blended uh, to give um, a multiplication effect. So all yours, John. Uh, thank you. So uh, once again, we would go to uh, the three pictures have been taken on a tripod, so it's made it easy for us. Uh, we would go to File, um, Script, and load files into a stack. And when the little, oh, thank goodness I've got Greg beside me. Let's grab that bar and drag it across. Yeah, because yeah. we've got multiple screens going. Um, so, yeah, so we're doing the same thing. We're going to stack again. Add open files. Right. Uh, we've got them there. Attempt to align. They should be aligned. Okay. And when that little worm stops turning. So now you can see we've got three um, images there by the um, thing. If I go to the top one um, and put it, I can now put it, or you, if you like, you can see what's underneath. So there we've got that and there we've got that. So all we're going to do is try and put them all into the one picture. And it's very straightforward, simple masking thing. We make sure the top one's active. We click the mask thing. We pick a brush, we make sure it's on 100%, uh, whatever the brush tool is there, B, 100%, and we want it on black, and we would just put a, pretty well put a mask right across the whole thing. There. Okay, so this is... So, so this now is... you've got a second one of me, we can re we'll refine the tripod leg a bit later. If we now go on to that next one, but and now we put a mask on this next one, and we just do the same again there. So, um, so now we've got um, three idiot photographers all taking a picture of a, a camera that's taking a picture of them, and we need to go up to that one to clean up the leg on no, down the bottom I don't I need to click on there. That should be me I'm on the top one. That should be right. Yeah, there we go. So um, you, you can zoom in and really get that yeah. nice and finely uh, done yeah. as well. And it looks like I might have blurred a bit over there. So once again by going X I can paint out the okay. mask I've put on the, accidentally on that other leg, and the same on this one here when I look at it. Okay. Um, that looks interesting. No, I must be on the wrong one. I think I'm on the right one. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just, it's just a, yeah. Well, it's good. It's a bit of fun. And it's, it, yeah. Yeah, it works well. So you want to get your two kids playing chess to get with themselves or your child playing chess with itself yeah. you can take a picture of it on one side of the chessboard put it on the other and uh, so and do yeah. that or whatever that, yeah. that, that type of thing yeah just yeah. some fun photos and yeah fiddling around and, and just uh, showing the different yeah. ways to uh, blend the photo through and yeah that's good yeah it's and, excellent and then if you wanted to um uh, you could probably apply this sort of technique to, you know, other things. You'll you'll be doing something one day, and you'll think, oh yeah, I can use that masking uh, to do that. I mightn't want to be doing something a bit silly like this, but it'll, you can use the same technique to bring something into the picture that um, sure. that's behind it. No, that's good. Now, just with going uh, talking about your layers and masks. Um, are there any any disadvantages of using layers and masks? Can you uh, the one thing that comes to mind is, um, you know, especially when we're doing landscapes, we can we can tend to overcook the image, as they say, sometimes with a with a mask or a layer, and we need to be a little bit careful to to keep it real, as they say. Yeah. Um, well, one of the one of the things you can, um, if we um, just, for instance, one of the things that's often overdone in landscapes is, say, saturation. Uh, people can 
oversaturate something mm. um, and um, this is probably a really bad one but it shows it up but sometimes it's it can you know it might be a lesson bit but you can um, because it's a layer you can then go to your opacity and turn that opacity back so you've still got your increased saturation but it's not quite as savage yeah as it was um, and I guess one of the the other things that um, we're, we're all experienced that as older photographers is um, making sure when we're using the layers and masks uh, is when we're using different contrasts and effects and so forth uh, to be careful of um, uh, little bits of, of, of sharpness, over sharpness coming through and artifacts, yeah. artifacts coming through, digital noise yeah. coming through as well. Yeah, well, once again, if, if, um, if let's just flatten this for a moment, that's the easiest thing to do. Um, we can, if you wanted to sharpen that overall, the whole thing, um, if you go Control J, sharpen on that second layer, um, there and wherever the filter is, uh, sharpen, say so unsharp mask, and let's screw that up fairly savagely. Um, and you've so that you've over sharpened it. Um, because it's a layer, once again, you can take that sharpness, that the effect of that layer back. So you've actually, so that's it there. So you can turn that off and see what that's what it looks yeah. Go there, yeah. go to your um, opacity and reduce it. Bring it down a little down, bit. Bring yeah. it down. And so then it, it's once again, it's not such a set. See, there's no yeah. huge it's difference. It's nice yeah. and subtle. Yeah. So so you can. Um, and that's what we want to achieve. Yeah. Subtle. Yeah. You don't want people to be able to look at it and say, oh, God, he sharpened it. You, yeah. you want to look at it and think, now, this I like this picture because of this, that, and the other. Yeah. You know? The, the technology's meant to be yeah. uh, we don't not want, obvious. We don't want to cut a slide yeah. razor blade. Yeah. Fantastic. So I, I That's great, John. Uh, thank you very much for going over that. Is there anything you wanted to add in, um, in your comments on layers and masks? Oh, I'm sure it'll be something I'll think of once we're totally finished. <laughs> right <laughs> now, I can't think of anything. All right, folks. Well... Thank you very much, John, for spending the time with me today in this conversation on laser masks. And if there's anybody who has any questions or comment for John, uh, please make a, a bit of a list and um, put your comments in the video below the, the video. Uh, we'll post this on YouTube fairly quickly. And um, for now, thanks very much, John. Thank you.